Hello everyone and welcome back to the Elegant Edit. I'm excited for today's video. I've been wanting to film it for like over a week now. Uh, we were at the beach just a while ago, a few days ago, a couple days ago. We arrived, we actually got back yesterday um, and it was a week long trip and it was really nice but I brought these things with me in the hopes that I would film while we were there. I didn't get around to it so here I am finally filming. And I'm not sure if it's noticeable but if my face looks a little darker than the rest of my body I will get into it, but basically I bought a tinted serum that does not quite match, unfortunately. I will get into that, but I want to jump into this because I don't want this to be the longest video in the world. So um, basically I want to start by just quickly saying that I have been, I have always been the kind of person who prioritizes growth and self-care um, and self-love. However, um, I've had my moments where I'm up here. And my moments where I'm down here and I'm not always up here I'm human and I think everyone can relate to that but I feel like I'm making a comeback right now because I just kind of went through a lull I guess you could say and I wasn't really prioritizing these things um, and I'm finally I finally feel like I'm getting back into it and it feels really really good um, I feel like myself again and so I want to take better care of myself overall and while most of these things are like self-care and beauty products um i want you to know that that's not the only way to take care of yourself you're also you know it's about internal self-care as well so i just want to kind of preface this video by saying that that yes i'm showing a lot of products in this video but that is not really what self-care is all about this is just kind of to help the exterior rather than the interior so just keep that in mind throughout this video and let's get into it so i want to start with Ofra Cosmetics, I believe that is how you say it. Um, I was first introduced to Ofra Cosmetics through Ipsy. I was an Ipsy member for a couple years. Um, I'm no longer a member, but I was a couple years ago and I really loved it and I got a couple Ofra products. I got like a liquid lipstick and a highlight from them and I really loved them, but never purchased from them myself. And recently, Tom and I are really good at winning competitions. It's kind of an ongoing, like, funny thing now, but we continue to win a lot of competitions and contests. And I recently won a contest with Ofra Cosmetics and Batiste, which is the hair products, um, the hair company, I guess you could say. And I won a competition. So I won $100 worth of Ofra Cosmetics. So I got like an e-gift card and I got to choose some products from their website and I have them right here for you now. So um, I actually forgot one. <laughs> one second. Um, so actually I forgot the little free sample. So um, I ordered four things and yes, that came to just about $100. So it's pretty crazy, but they're so beautiful and I'm so excited and I've used them all and I love them all thankfully so they sent me the free sample and I will do close-ups of everything but this is their long-lasting liquid lipstick Pasadena is the shade and it's kind of like this I don't know how you describe it maybe like a mauvey pink kind of color perfect for this time of year and it's really beautiful it's quite pigmented and bold but I really really like it so that was a nice surprise because you know, I won this. I wasn't expecting a free sample at all, but it was nice to get a little surprise and it's a color that I would definitely wear. I wore it one night to dinner at the beach and I really liked it, so that was really nice of them. Next up is a lip product that I chose from the website. So because we were going to the beach and I knew that when I was purchasing these things with the gift card, I really wanted a coral lipstick because I have a couple coral lip colors, but I really wanted something a little different for me. And I saw this one on their website. This is in the shade Coral Me. It's shade number 14. And I love the packaging. I got it a little dirty, <laughs> but I love the packaging of these. And it's like a little magnetic. So I, I, or it's magnetic. I don't know what I'm saying. And I like that because if you put this in your bag, sometimes I have lipsticks where the top will come off in your bag and that's really annoying. But I like that. It's a smart and like little clever way of creating the packaging for this. And this looks very bold and like really like almost like a highlighter coral color but I promise it's not as intimidating when it's on your lips it's actually I'm wearing it right now um and it's not you know it's interesting with lipsticks because sometimes in the tube it looks very different to how it looks on your lips so you have to give things a chance because when I first opened it I was like oh that's not quite what I was hoping for but on the lips it's beautiful I know it's now October which is insane today's October 1st when I'm filming this but um, so I won't really get much more wear out of it this year, but pretty crazy, but I love it so much. 
And lately I've been really obsessed with blushes and highlighter. Um, it's funny because when I first started wearing makeup, I was around 12 years old. Um, I loved blush, however, as I got older, my skin was not the greatest. I struggled with acne and I still do, but I stopped wearing blush for that reason. For some reason, I thought that it highlighted um, kind of the redness on my face, but my skin has been doing great lately and I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, well, great for me, <laughs> it's getting better, but I've been obsessed with blush again and that makes me really happy because it adds so much life to your face and it's beautiful to add some color. And I got this little um, blush duo cheek lit, or chick, chick lit, sorry, that's what it's called. And I'm not sure if it has a name. Uh, I'll put names of things, or I'll, I'll link everything below. But it says Ofra by Samantha March. I have no idea who that is, but it is a beautiful little cheek duo. So it comes with like a beautiful light pink color, kind of the color I always go for on my cheeks. And this beautiful highlight that is, again, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's a pinky, almost mauve looking highlight. And it works really well together. I, when I used this the other day, I combined the two just as a blush, um, rather than doing blush and highlighter separately. And I really liked how that looked. So it's the kind of palette, like little cheek duo that you can use most days for most everyday makeup looks I would say um, and again I love the packaging it's so sleek and really nice and again magnetic um, so super happy with that I said I was obsessed with blush lately and that continues so this is the midi palette in sitting pretty and I love it so much so look at the shades in this I love it so you get kind of a corally pink more of a Barbie pink and a highlight in the middle that's gold. Um, I love it so much. Again, I used all of these recently and I love them all. Uh, the coral, especially for spring summertime, I would say. The pink, I can, I would wear that any time of year and the highlight. So I'm so happy with this little palette. Um, again, I've just had an obsession with cheek products lately and I, I adore this little palette. And the last product that I chose from Ofra Cosmetics was a big palette and this was the most expensive product um, that I got but again I got it with the voucher so I didn't have to spend anything I'm so grateful again also a little magnetic palette which is really nice and I'm keeping this little plastic thing on just to protect things a bit more but it's a palette and it's got pretty much everything in here so it says smile you are beautiful and you've got in the middle you've got this giant like highlighter but it has th four different shades which is really amazing I just kind of mix them all um, and I think these shades are actually really perfect for the colder months I tend to wear highlighter that is a bit more warm um, in the spring and summer and highlighter that's a bit more cool in the fall and winter um, and I love it and it's got I guess that's a bronzer here and a blush and then you've got eyeshadows and these are all colors I would absolutely wear and the blue green color it just stood out to me so much because even though I don't tend to wear color on my eyes a lot, that is one that I wore at the beach. I wore it like under my bottom lash line and even Tom was like, ooh, you know, he noticed it was something different on me and that was really sweet of him. And they're just beautiful colors, um, a good mix of shimmer and matte shades and I'm absolutely in love with it. And the second part of this competition was with Batiste. So I love Batiste. Again, I have been a fan of their products before this competition and I just love them and so they sent me $100 worth of hair products so these products I didn't get to choose but all of them are amazing and I would have you know I would have probably gone for them anyway and they sent me quite a bit so quite a few dry shampoos so let's get started with those so first of course they sent me their original classic clean dry shampoo I am a big dry shampoo lover because I just think it's amazing. I love using it, especially at night, because I'll spray it in my hair, like, you know, arm's length away, massage it in, and I love that I can wake up with fresher looking hair. It's not going to look like you just washed it, you know, it can't, but this does soak up a lot of the grease and oil that you might have in your hair, and I'm just a big dry shampoo lover, so they sent me their original. They also sent me the Dry Shampoo Tropical Exotic Coconut, which I'm a big fan of that scent, so I love that. Refreshes hair without drying it out, so love that. I meant to bring this to the beach and I completely forgot, so I had gross beach hair all week, but it was fine. I washed it last night, I had an everything shower, and now it's all clean and I feel amazing again. 
Next up, I'll just move through these really because they're all dry shampoos until the last four products. But next up was their dry shampoo Bear. So this one's barely scented, which is nice if you're not a fan of, you know, all the scents and things. I like when things smell nice and I like when my hair smells nice, but it's nice of them to send so many different options. And then I got the Overnight Deep deep Cleanse. It prevents oil buildup while you sleep. So kind of like I was saying, I guess not all dry shampoos technically meant for like sleeping in but I don't know I think it's fine but this I was really excited about so definitely looking forward to trying that and then they sent me this one um, it's part of their natural line I guess I don't know if all of it's natural but this says Batiste naturally it says it's plant powered dry shampoo it's 100% from natural extracts it's green tea and chamomile light scent for all hair types so that's really nice again quite different kinds of dry shampoos. I think it's nice because they didn't ask me what my hair type is or anything like that, but I like that they sent quite a few and I might even give, you know, a few of these to my sisters or a mom or something like that. Um, and then another naturally one. This says, again, also 100% natural extracts. This is bamboo fiber and gardenia. I think I would like that one. So yeah, those are all the dry shampoos that they sent me. And I was so happy to see that they sent me four hair masks as well. I've used two of them so far, and they're really cool. I really like them. So I'll start with this one. This was the first one I used. It is their leave-in hair mask. It says nourish hair and seal in moisture. And this is their strengthen one to prevent breakage. So this is the blue one. And I used this one. And the cool thing, I think all of them have it. I've never seen this in a hair mask before, but they have like these little um, vitamin E beads in them and you're supposed to kind of rub it on your hands to activate the beads and then put it in your hair which i thought was really cool i've never really seen anything like that maybe i'm still quite new to like hair masks and stuff but i really i liked that um and so i used this one and really liked it and the second one i used was their leave-in hair mask nourish hair and seal in moisture and this is the repair one that protects uh, damaged hair. So I used this one last night just because I thought it would be good to use after a week at the beach when my hair really needed some love and I really liked it. Again, I mean, I don't know, the issue with last night was I washed my hair and I know you're not supposed to but I went to bed with it a little damp just because I was so tired after getting back from the beach and I just did like I don't I don't really blow dry my hair I know I talked about it in a recent video and I was like oh I like blow drying it but it still takes a long time for me to blow dry my hair. My hair is quite thick and it just does not want to be dry ever so I just went to bed with it so maybe that wasn't a fair test for this product but I will try again um, next I haven't used these two yet this one is the leave-in hair mask it's the smooth one which seals your split ends I don't think I have split ends right now I got a haircut I mean I know you're supposed to get like a trim every few months but I got one in April I don't know I might be getting a haircut soon so we'll see but um, that is gonna be good to test eventually. And I love, I'm excited about this one. This is an overnight hair mask. And I think all of these are, let's see, yeah, they're all leave-in ones, which I love because the one I have in the UK, I think it's by that Shea Moisture brand. I could be wrong. I love that one so much. It makes my hair so incredibly soft. However, it's not a leave-in one. And it always makes it a little difficult because I have to leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but it's kind of annoying because I feel like I'm just standing there waiting for it to, you know, waiting for the time to pass and I just want to be done. Um, but I try to do other things like for my shower self-care routine to fill up that time. But I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, but I like the leave-in hair masks because you just leave it in when you're done and it's so much easier. And this is the overnight one and you wake up to healthy looking hair. So I think I'm going to try this one next time I wash my hair and see how it goes. And I might still use this one even though I don't have split ends. Maybe it'll prevent split ends. I don't know if you can do that. but um, So thank you to Batiste and Ofra Cosmetics. I'm so excited. I love everything I've tried so far and I'm a big fan of both the brands. So that was a really nice competition to win and I'm just really happy with everything. Sorry if you can hear music in the background. I think, you know, I'm in a house with lots of other people right now, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. So I want to start now with the purchases that I made from Amazon recently. So these are some more self-care products, things that I've been needing um, or just wanting to try, and I want to share them with you. So first up, I got a couple tongue scrapers. I won't get into the details because that's kind of gross. We all know what this is, I think. Um, and if you don't know, most of bad breath actually comes from your tongue and not your teeth. 
So you want to take care of your tongue. You know, yes, we all know you should brush your tongue, but I recommend tongue scrapers. Um, I think they're going to be really beneficial and just really nice. So I got these from Amazon. It comes with two and not much more you can say about that. Fresh breath is always a good thing. And next up, I got something that I was really interested in trying. So we all know about the gua sha and we know that that's not a new thing it's actually i think a very ancient old practice however um it started gaining popularity a few years ago and i have a rose quartz like face roller and i like using that but i don't use it enough and then i believe from my previous job because i did marketing for a bunch of skincare companies I got a couple gua sha's that I only remembered after I bought this one. However, they are different and I wanted to get this one because it's like a stainless steel so it won't break and it's um, I think it's a bit more sanitary as well and I've just been really excited to use this however I think you need to use it with like some kind of facial oil and again with someone who has acne prone skin I just want to make sure that what I'm using is not going to clog my pores and it's good for my skin so I need to look into what kind of facial oils I can use with this if you have any recommendations please let me know below but I'm really excited to start using this and my rose quartz facial roller a bit more often I think it'll be really beneficial and you know you can I'm sure you know but you can always read more about the benefits of this I'm I probably shouldn't say much because I don't, you know, I'm still learning, but um, definitely check it out because I think it's worth looking into and doing if you feel like it'll benefit you. Okay, now this next purchase I know might seem kind of silly. I feel like it's definitely not a necessity. It doesn't mean, you know, this is, this is like a little luxury that you don't need and you don't need it to you know, to have a nice self-care routine, but it's something quite useful. So for some reason, I didn't even know they existed until somewhat recently. So you know how when you're washing your face or taking off your makeup, I, this happens to me every time without fail. Every time water will come down my wrist, down to my elbow, and it'll go all over the floor. And it's the most annoying thing ever. Sometimes it'll get on my clothes and all I wanted to do was just wash my face. So I came across these little things that you put on your wrist they're like little towels for your wrist, little scrunchies, and they will absorb any water that comes from washing your face. It's kind of, again, you don't need this, but I'm so happy with it. I got them in neutral colors. Again, I think I I filmed a, a B-roll clip before we even went to the beach, so hopefully I still have those. But there's like a peach color, a white, and then like a taupe color. And again, just easy. They're easy to clean too, but it's a little luxury that you don't need, but it's nice to have. And next up is something that I'm struggling with, and but it's something that I've been really wanting to try. And maybe they're just too small for me, but we'll see. So, I have seen on TikTok um, a couple people using French hair clips, and it looks like this. And when I first saw this, I'm like, how the heck is that supposed to hold your hair in any kind of position? But then I watched videos on it, and I was like, that is so cool. And it's probably better for your hair instead of using a hair tie. I tend to use claw clips these days, um, but I just thought it's another nice way of keeping hair out of your face um, and off of your neck, keeping you cool, but also you're not using a hair tie that's kind of tightly pulling on your hair. However, I got a pack, um, let me see, of six, and I have a gold, a silver, this gold one with a little pink thing at the top, this one with a blue thing at the top, and then these little tortoise shell ones that are plastic. Um, these ones are like metal. But I don't know if they're just too small. I don't know if my hair is too thick for this kind of thing. Maybe I need a bigger one. I tried for like an hour the other day. Maybe I just need more practice. I don't know what it is. If you've used this before and you have any tips, please let me know because I was struggling. Um, I know that the curve is supposed to go you know facing your head and I can I mean I might be able to show you in a different maybe in a b-roll clip or something but I know you kind of put it up like this and then down and the curve is on your head but every time I would do it my hair would just fall right back out and maybe it's better for people with thinner hair than mine I don't know so I need to look into it some more and just practice some more I can try getting bigger ones, I don't know, um, but I really like them and I really wanted it to work for me because I really like the idea of a nice like slicked back hairstyle, especially a bun, and I did find that these are a bit easier to use if you want to do like a half up, half down hairstyle with like a little bun, that worked a bit better for me, but if I want to put my whole 
all my hair in a bun. It just doesn't work. So if you have any advice or tips, please let me know. I'll be watching videos and reading about it until I can figure it out. And next up from my little Amazon haul, um, I, so I've, I've talked about these on my channel before, but I, it might be a weird, like, gift to some people. But a few Christmases ago, my mom got me a razor, and, um, again, that probably sounds a bit silly, but I like those kinds of things. Any, like, I like self-care type of gifts. I like soaps. I like nice smelling things. It kind of is laughable, laughable because it's almost like when you give a gift like that to someone, it might give them the wrong idea, like, do I smell or am I gross? And it's not like that. I, I like self-care gifts. So my mom got me a razor a few Christmases ago and I fell in love with it because women's razors, especially the, the disposable ones, they're never good. And so for a while I was using men's razors and now I feel like I've found such a great one. I use the Joy razor. I have the handle, I've had it since my mom got it for me for Christmas, and I've just been buying the refills of the razor blades. And I think they're the best razor blades I've ever used. I haven't, I mean, I haven't tried that many, but you know, I think for me, I'm sticking with them until they stop selling it because I love it. So I bought a pack, it comes with eight refills, and these last a long time. If you take care of your razor blades and you dry them and you don't leave them in the shower where they can get wet and rusty, they're gonna last a long time. And you know when they start to get dull, you can feel it, but these really do last a long time. I brought like eight of these to the UK when I went last. I used like two. So I'm telling you, they last a long time. Um, and I love them. You can also buy the handle on Amazon with like I think maybe four refills or three or something like that, but I always buy just the pack of eight because I don't need the handle again. Um, but it's nice to know that if that broke or if I got it, if I lost it, I can always buy it again. And I think it's around $15 for eight of the blades, but again, that seems like a lot sort of, but when they last as long as they do, it is so worth it. And next from Amazon, because we were going to the beach, I needed a sunscreen, so I got this Sunbum one. I've never used this brand before, but I actually really liked it. Um, and the reason I got it was because it wasn't too expensive, and also because it is non-pore clogging. Now, I didn't use this on my face. I always use my La Roche-Posay sunscreen on my face, and I love that one. It's amazing. Kind of expensive for a tiny bottle, but it does last a while. This one is a good size. I can't remember how what the size is. It might say... Oh yeah, eight fluid ounces. Um, and that was pretty good. Tom and I both used this on our bodies while we were at the beach. And it's SPF 50. And again, it's non-pore clogging. It's gluten-free and vegan, antioxidant rich, enriched, sorry, vitamin E, and dermatologist tested and water resistant for 80 minutes. And it smells really good. It just reminds me of summer. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Mm. I don't know how to describe that smell, but it's lovely. So I'm really happy that I found this because I'd never tried it before and it'll be good for when we do come back to the U.S. Um, especially because it's, it tends to be hotter here than in the U.K. and especially if we're back in the summertime, I know which sunscreen I'm going to be buying. While Tom and I are in the U.K., we actually don't, we use a different sunscreen. That's why I needed to find one because I don't think they sell it here, but it's a La Roche-Posay sunscreen. We are big fans of the brand. And um, we bought it when we were in Lake Como for our honeymoon last year because we got to Italy and we were like, we don't have sunscreen. Um, so we needed to buy one. So we went to a pharmacy nearby and it, again, it was, I mean, I don't know if you'd call it a lot. It was, I think maybe around 20 euros. It might've been more, I don't know. I only know in dollars and pounds right now. That's how my brain is working right now. But um, kind of a lot, but it was a big tube and it, we still have it in the UK. So again, when you look at it that way, it's so worth it, and it's such a good brand. Um, and we left it in the UK, but I don't think it's available here, which is really strange. So that is why we bought that sunscreen in the end. And the last thing that I purchased from Amazon is a facial ice roller. I have heard such great things about this, and the, the amazing thing is that you don't even have to spend money to do this kind of thing. I kind of wanted this exact one. Maybe, maybe that's silly. You don't actually need to spend money to do facial ice rolling. I mean, you can literally use an ice cube if you want, but I just kind of like the idea of this better. It's easy to use, it rolls on your face. And what I do is I keep this in the fridge all day long and then you can always put it in the freezer overnight or in the morning, just put it in the freezer for 15 minutes and then you wanna use this on your face. This is gonna help with puffiness and redness and inflammation and when I tell you that I have been doing this, I think every day, maybe for a week now, 
the redness in my skin has gone down significantly and it could have been the you know the ocean water it could have been many different things but I will say nothing has gotten that redness down for months and this has been doing it so it was really affordable you can get them in a ton of different colors if you want of course I got pink but I will go into more detail later it's just this is pretty amazing I, I love it and it feels so refreshing in the morning I I think it's so good to use really cold water on your face and this is just such a nice refreshing thing especially in the summertime if it's really hot 10 out of 10 from me and the last three things from this haul are things I bought today actually um, we went to Target today I got three beauty products two of them I've tried before one I have not I'm gonna start with one that I've talked about because I've I've already been using it for quite uh, maybe a couple months now and I love it but it's the elf holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm it's so funny because I've already told the story but when I first started wearing makeup I always used makeup wipes only to find out that those things are just horrible for your skin because you're tugging on your skin you're rubbing it it's just not good for your skin your skin is very delicate and especially around the eyes you really don't want to be doing that so I switched from makeup wipes to micellar water only like a few years ago and then I started doing a combination of micellar water and my cleanser and now I use this cleansing balm and my cleanser um, to remove my makeup just to kind of triple cleanse to make sure it's all off my face again my girls who struggle with acne will know that you will do anything to get clear skin and if removing all of your makeup you know very well means that then you'll do it and so I always make sure 100% of the makeup I'm wearing is off my face for the day and I love this it literally does what it says it melts the makeup off it feels so nice because sometimes I look forward to just getting my makeup off and it feels heavenly and this actually gets most of it off I use this and then my cleanser and then I'll use like a cotton pad with water just to see if I missed any spots and most of the time it's a clean cotton pad so I really love this next up is something that I've been using for a while it is the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser concealer um, and however the issue is I think this is too light for my skin I haven't even opened it because I bought this one in the UK and I didn't see a number on it and I was trying to figure out what shade I got while I was there and I just couldn't figure it out I tried looking in my email when we were in Target I was like what shade did I get and I'm running low so I risked it and I got this one but I think it's too light I'm looking at them together and I I have to laugh because the same thing happened with this next product the L'Oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum I've been dying to try this um, and I don't know if you'd call it a lot, but it was $15, and to me that was kind of a lot for, I think, what it is. However, I'm wearing it right now, and it's too tan for my face. And the funny thing is, this is too light, this is too dark. I always go a bit lighter with my concealers because you want to brighten up the under eye area, right? So you never want it to match your foundation, BB cream, whatever it is, completely. You want it to be a shade or two lighter. So because I was just at the beach, I thought, oh, I'm so tan. And I was like, let me get a darker product. And I got this one thinking, great, that's gonna be perfect. Nope, still too tan for me. And I'm not opening this because it's too light for me. So it's really funny because I have to laugh or else I'll cry because I'm so, I'm not good at um, figuring out what my skin tone is. Like I know people say you should look at your veins and if they're more green or more blue, you're a warm tone, cool tone. I can't figure it out so and obviously I didn't want to open the products in Target you're not really allowed to do that and like test it on yourself that would be gross because those aren't testers um, I think Sephora is like the only place where you can actually go and try out the products and I, I just should have I don't know I wish I was better at this because I feel like it's wasting money however I would be more upset if Target didn't do returns for this kind of thing but they do so I what I might do because a part of me thought maybe I'll get to this point but we're in October I don't think I'm gonna be getting that much more Sun this year so I really just don't see this matching me right now so I might get the next shade down and again even that might be too dark for me but thankfully they do free returns I'm sure they just throw this out which is a shame but I'm not good at figuring this out so I need the next shade up for this and the next shade down for this I'm still wearing it today just because I put it on for the video and I was like I really like it like I think it looks really nice on my skin it's just the wrong shade so we're gonna try again with this and and this I already know I love this 
Um, but yeah, I'm a little bummed. I really, I thought, and it's funny because I was like, I'm so tan after the beach. And while I did get a bit of a tan, um, I guess it's not as dark as I thought. And I wanted to finish off the video by just sharing a couple wellness updates with you all. I might even do a whole video on self-care because I'm telling you I am in my self-care era right now. I feel like, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've always been someone who recognized the importance of self-care and growth. And I've always been the kind of person who looks for new opportunities to grow. And so that I'm not staying the same all the time. I'm becoming the best version of myself and in many different areas of my life. But it's really fun to just kind of I don't know, explore the whole world of self-care when it comes to beauty and wellness products. Um, and I have been really enjoying testing out some new things and I've talked about them in past videos, but now I've used them uh, consistently and I just want to talk about them for a minute. And the first one is the facial ice roller. So like I said, I've been using this every morning, probably for a week now. And I just have to say, again, I already said it, but the redness has gone down, inflammation has gone down, puffy face gone down, and it's not just me who has noticed it, and it's really nice and refreshing, and I just think it's a nice way of incorporating, again, a little bit of um, luxury into everyday life, and it, you're not spending a fortune either. Again, you don't even have to spend money on something like this. There are ways to do it at home, to DIY it, and it's simple things like that that you incorporate into your self-care routine every day that makes such a huge difference and within a week that's pretty amazing so i highly recommend that i've really been enjoying it um and i'm just excited to see more changes with my skin using this another thing that i talked about in a recent video i think it was my tk max haul video it was just a haul of mango and tk max i think i will link it below if i remember to um but you can check that out on my channel and I got this little um, scalp massager. Again, this is nothing new. A lot of people use them, but it's new to me. And I love this because, again, a little added luxury to everyday life. So when I wash my hair, I've used this every time that I've washed my hair since getting it. So quite a few weeks now. And I love it because it just, again, feels luxurious. It's a simple and very cheap uh, an affordable way of, again, adding something nice to your self-care routine, and it's not a necessity. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. And I use it when I shampoo my hair, so I start with my fingers, I'll get in there, shampoo my scalp, and then I use this, and I move it in circles all around my scalp, and it feels heavenly. I love it. And it's easy to clean, it's silicone, so um, I don't keep it in the shower, I keep it out of the shower, but it's so nice, and it just feels so good on the scalp so another little product that I highly recommend using um, it's just been so nice next up is something that I could rave about forever because I've been telling everybody since I started noticing this difference in my body so what I love about this product and also with the hair um, the scalp massager the hair the scalp massage I can't talk the scalp massager is great for um, your scalp in many ways but it can also stimulate hair growth um, so all of these things have internal benefits as well. Um, it's not just a fun thing that you do to look pretty. It's also giving you internal benefits. Um, and that's also why I bought these things. It's not just to add some luxury and to feel pretty. It's There's a deeper meaning behind it all, trust me. Um, but this product is something that I came across recently. I don't know why I wasn't doing this sooner. I wish someone told me about it sooner. And it's the kind of thing that you don't need to do. It's not something that most people probably don't do it and that is dry brushing this thing has changed my life you guys um and it's so funny because i i've been using it every single day before my shower and what i do is i gently tap and massage my lymph nodes in my body so you have lymph nodes in your neck in your armpits um maybe in your chest in your groin and I just, I massage my stomach too. I don't know if you're supposed to. And I massage all of the, those areas where you have lymph nodes gently. You don't want to do it too hard. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, I think they got swollen from me doing that. And I went to the doctor in a panic and I was fine. But just make sure you're not too rough. And then after you do that, I like to start from my feet and move upward. And I, 
I've heard two different ways of using it, so please, like, don't take my word for it. Please, like, research it, talk to a doctor, but the way I do it is I have been brushing in upward strokes, and you don't want to brush too hard or too soft. You want kind of medium pressure, and you want to brush upwards toward the lymph nodes. So if you have lymph nodes in your groin, you want to use the brush upwards on your legs, and then when you get to your stomach, like, halfway, you want to brush down toward the groin, and then the rest of my body I move upward. When you're doing your arms, you want to brush toward your armpits and toward your neck, that kind of thing. And let me tell you, this has made my body so smooth. And it didn't take long to notice that difference. It took using it maybe for a couple weeks for me to be like, my legs are so smooth. And maybe I only noticed it recently because I was at the beach wearing a bathing suit all day. But my legs have never been softer. And it, it feels amazing because this is removing dead skin and it's also supporting um, lymphatic drainage. So you're gonna notice a difference internally, how you feel, how your body looks, and how it feels. So I, I, I could not say like more good things about this. It's phenomenal, and it was cheap. That's the thing with all of these self-care products. I can't wait to do a whole video on it, but all of these products are affordable, and the good thing is that it's not the kind of thing you need to repurchase after using it a few times. As long as you take care of it and clean it, you're gonna be fine. I've heard that to clean a dry brush, you should use a bit of tea tree oil and warm water, and you just use it enough to wet the bristles. You don't wanna get this part wet, um, but you just kinda of move it around a bit, and then clean it off, and it's good to go again. Um, and so I just, you know, I'll end the video, but I just wanna say that this has changed the game for me. I love it. It makes me feel more confident, and it's just changed the game. I love it, and it's another luxurious step that is benefiting you inside and out. So. I think that's everything. No, it's not. I just looked at something. One last thing. It's kind of dirty right now because I was just using it. It's got makeup on it. But this little headband that I got from TK Maxx in the UK, it's by the Kitsch brand. It's got a little spot for your ponytail. I've been using it every day when I wash my face or if I do my makeup. And it just keeps makeup or skincare products out of my hair, especially when I just washed it because that's so annoying. Um, and I love it. I just want to say that. It's a little spa headband. It was so cheap from TK Maxx, but it's a great brand. And it's like, I think it's, um, it's made from plants, so it's bamboo and cotton. Um, and it's just really nice. So another little nice thing to add to my routine. But I feel like a broken record. So I think that's everything. I'm going to check just to make sure before we get going. Just want to finish the video by just saying that my mom recommended that if I have a spot to uh, come up on my face to try putting some castor oil on it. I've never heard of this and I was a bit hesitant at first. I was like, what if that breaks me out and does the opposite, you know? But actually, I think she had a point because I've been using this on a couple spots that might come up. And I noticed the next day or after the next couple days, it has mostly faded or at least it's gone flat. Um, and I think it's been helping. I'll keep you updated, but I don't know. I want to look into it more just to make sure this is okay to do. But so far, it's been working. It's got a weird smell that I don't enjoy. But if it works, you know, I'll take it. So, kind of interesting. So, that's that. And I just want to finish off the video by saying that I think self-care journeys are very personal. And some of these products may work for me. And maybe it's not your cup of tea or maybe it won't work for you. But... I do believe that, besides the beauty products, these self-care products that I just showed, I do believe they would work for most people, if not everyone. And it's so nice to do, and I just feel like it's really important to take care of yourself. I think far too many people neglect little things that are actually very important, because even though your outer appearance is not the most important thing, confidence is huge. And I, if you've been following me for a while, I stopped blogging. Um, a while ago, so I don't have my website anymore. I might bring it back. I'm still debating, but I want to revamp it um, We'll see I might um, But either way I that blog was about confidence. It was called compass to confidence because I Believe so much in the importance and, and power of having confidence in yourself And you know again, like I said, we're all human some days we're up here some days We're down here and sometimes down here can last months or years as long as you get back up here, you're going to be okay, and we all will, we all do. We all go through kind of slumps and, you know, periods where maybe we forget to take care of ourselves, but I'm reminding you right now that you will get out of that slump, you will be okay again, and sometimes it takes 
adding little nice things to your routines to, to remind yourself that you matter and to take care of yourself. And again, sometimes doing that with your outer appearance as well helps. It's not gonna solve all of your problems, but if it brings you some confidence, then I think that's a plus. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to take you on my self-care journey um, because it's gonna continue. I even added the word wellness to my Instagram bio. I have fashion, beauty, and now wellness. So check out my Instagram, The Elegant Edit, for more. And I'm just really excited to go on this journey with you and let's just love ourselves more that is the goal so that's it for this video and i will see you in my next one